one of my top 10 favorite games of all time. Beneath the Steel Sky was released in April 1994 as a collaboration between Charles Cecil, who went on to create the Broken Sword series, and Dave Gibbons, most well known for the Watchmen graphic novels. Since not everyone had a CD-ROM drive at the time, it was released simultaneously on both floppy disks and CD-ROM. The floppy disk version was 15 floppy disks. The CD-ROM version was one single disk. Now the one I had was the CD-ROM version. I got it for Christmas in I believe 1998. It could have been 97. One of the two. I still have my original copy in my original box. All in great condition. They're in a bigger box along with all of my other old computer games from the time in storage somewhere in my hometown in Utah. Um, the big difference between the two besides the fact that the floppy disks were on a whopping 15 floppies uh, was that the CD-ROM version had full voice acting and the floppy disk version did not. The game was given a remaster in 2009. It was released September 2009 for iOS, for the iPod Touch, and for the iPad. Now on this, the graphics are just cleared up a little bit, the voice acting is a little bit better, and it features all new animated cutscenes uh, by Dave Gibbons, who did the original Beneath the Still Sky as well as The Watchmen. Um, that version is the most recent one I played. I got it on my second generation iPod Touch in 2010. Uh, 2010 was the last time I played through the game and it was this version I played through. The last time I played through the PC version, I wanna guess was 2003-ish. It was my senior year of high school. So it's been about 17 years since I played through this on PC. The reason I'm coming back to it now, besides the fact that it's one of my all-time favorite games and I want to revisit it regardless, is the fact that out of nowhere, in July, they released a sequel to it. It got a sequel 26 years later called Beyond a Steel Sky. Now, I finally was able to pick this game up. I have not opened it. I'm going to play it through it for the first time ever. You'll see all my first reactions to it on my YouTube channel. But before I do that, because it has been 10 years since I played through the game at all, and that was on my iPod, I wanted to replay the original for my channel, so that's what we're going to do. Now, unfortunately, they never released the, um, they never released the enhanced version, the remake, the remaster, whatever you want to call it, that came out on iPod and iPad. They never released that for PC, so we're going to be playing uh, a copy of the original. It's going to be the CD-ROM version because it has the voice acting and anyways let's get to it i hope you enjoy this game as much as i do and here we go the old man was trying to tell the future looking for pictures in the campfire Oh, I see evil, evil, born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel. Scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humor him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell let loose in anyway. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! 
Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the Gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for Mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city. Discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone. Starting with you, Granddad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait, just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash. What you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And a crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Right, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do right here is I'm going to try and uh, figure out the controls real quick. Um, it's been about 20 years since I played this on PC. And it's been about
about uh, 10 years since I played it at all. I last played through it on my second generation iPod Touch. So, alright, so, door, notice, notice. Alright, so, fire exit. Moves. Do not obstruct. Key available on presentation of requisition form SOS23. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Shut tight. Just as well there isn't a fire. Okay, so left click, uh, left click examines, and it looks like right click is action. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, F5 brings up our menu. We can change the music volume. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Uh, game speed, play, text and speech is what I want. Um, FX. Restart, quit, save game, load game. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta get rid of this dude. I could make use of that. So if you remember from Full Throttle, these point and click adventures, uh, a lot of it's uh, puzzles and uh, items that we find to solve them. Um, oh, okay, so if we, if we go up to the top of the screen, here's our inventory. Um, so we got a metal bar and circuit board for Joey. Okay, so it looks like, again, just like in the regular screen, um, right click is a, dis or left click, sorry. Left click is a description, right click is to use it. So we're gonna use this on the door. Who's up there? You won't escape that way! He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. Phew. Lucky escape. Really lucky. Security symbol. Security That must symbol. be their headquarters. This game likes to randomly uh, capitalize. Or put in all caps words. I don't know why. It's not like he... He was shouting, but whatever. Okay, so now we can come downstairs. It's wheezing and banging, like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. Thank you for that, uh, mental image, Robert. A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. So first thing we gotta do now, after escaping um, the cop there, is we need to uh, find a body for Joey. It's a robot shell. Rusty, but it might work. And then right here. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down and keep out of the way of security. 
Okay, so I just did conversion real quick. 120 meters to feet is 393 feet, which um, to me is kind of underwhelming. Like, I mean, it's tall, but it's not that tall. Like, I, I guess if you grew up in the Australian outback in a tribe, like, that would seem really high up. But, like, for example, I live in Arizona, and the tallest building in Arizona is the Chase Tower in Phoenix. The Chase Tower is 483 feet, and so uh, we're about, by comparison, we're about right here. I mean, that's not really that high, dude, but, you know, whatever. Oh, wait, I want to talk to Joey some more. What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. What is this place? What is this place, It's Joey? not worth explaining. You're too thick. Oh. Thanks, dude. Can you start that transport? Do yourself, Foster. Screw you, I'm just Joey. a cleaning droid, remember? Any human activity nearby? Any human? How activity? should I know? The shell sensors are useless. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one ungrateful bastard what tools does that shell have none of any use unless you're into housework yeah, I've got an onboard her? buffing and polishing tool and an extendable probe all of that sounds kinky we have to get out of this city can't we just stay here don't you miss our home the gap with all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. All right. Forget it. Forget it, Joey, you POS. What do you want? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Nobody told me. I'm too busy to show you around. Don't worry, I can show myself around. You won't even notice I'm here. Okay, we need Joey to come into the room. Now Excuse can... me. What now? Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Tell me more about the council. They govern the city. With the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. What was it like before Link? Ah... Those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? Search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You've been up there. It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs... Don't come running to me for sympathy! Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Do you buy scrap metal? I don't want to be recycled, Rob. I like the shell, really. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Cause Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. 
What did security want? After a saboteur! You seen anything suspicious? Only an overzealous security agent. That would be right. Best to avoid him and his bully boys. Bully boy. What goes on in here? Meets me workshop. <laughs> like it? Uh, it's will be nice. very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol my bum! <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard graft. What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. Wow, what a dish. I don't feel bad that we need to, uh, steal his wrench now. An elevator to the floor below. Yeah, I know. Step on it. What are you doing? I told you already. Routine inspection. Right well, keep off that elevator. I can't hear myself think. He's already coming. Hurry up, Robert. Okay, so now we go into the cupboard and we steal his wrench. What are you doing? Get out! Oh crap, did I get it in time? That's my personal! I didn't get it. We gotta do that again. Oh. It's gross! It? There's some kind of meat in it. Yeah, dude. It's meat sandwich. Tree world. See the world as your ancestors saw it. I don't want that. It's depressing. Insurance certificate. Years out of date. Alright guys, we gotta try this again. I think Joey got in our way last time. An elevator. Yes, I know Robert. I told you to stay off. That alarm is driving me spare. Can you start that transport? You don't give up, do Have you found out what's wrong with it? It's the, uh, Knopfler charge reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. Hell yeah, Joey. This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here goes. <laughs> there. How was it for you?
There we go. That thing's watching me. Good thing I'm naturally photogenic. I think it's huge. That's got to be a way out. Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. Oh, there we go. There's no buttons, here. just a thin slot. You didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know I had it in me. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Reich seems pretty cut up about it. But, but he's given me two leads. Overman and Link. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. <laughs> Whoever is monitoring that camera saved my life. But who? And why? But who? And why? He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. Sure, Robert. Just steal the dead cop's sunglasses. <laughs> We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. All right, now that we're out of the opening episode or the opening area, I'm going to end uh, the video here. Um, we will continue with Beneath the Steel Sky soon, trying to get through it so I can play the new one, finally. And, um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, peace.